I just can't let Jamaican things stay in Jamaica, huh? You always have to make it, oh, how come we don't do that in Soka too? Jamaicans do this wedding, no, 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 no. Some things you do to stay in Jamaica. Let us stay in dance hall. Lord. <laughs> Why people like to be miserable so much? But shoot, since you want misery, let me help you out. Well, right now, in the dance hall side of things, dance hall music, and actually all over the diaspora in the region, everybody's talking about this. This um, Steph London versus Jada Kingdom and this track, this dick track, that so much. So, whenever you look at the DJs, you look at the, the other artists, the soca artists, they say, hey, of course, it's always gonna have people who love drama. But they say, hey, how come we don't have drama and soca music? How come we don't have any diss tracks? So, to, um, you know, quell the mouths to help everybody calm down to give you a little bit of soca history, I'm going to give you one of the few times you have the instance of a soca diss track. Even though, do this soca music, we just want to have our fun. I mean, I don't know why I like drama so much, but fine. Clearly in soca music, you don't really see these tracks, and when you do see a diss track, they typically change it from like a soca rhythm, and they, they try to come in and form a dance hall. Like. Well, if you ever diss a man from Grenada, <laughs> you ever tell man suck their mother, <laughs> you ever diss my sister or my brother, <laughs> or my brother. <laughs> you put a strap up with bomb like Al Qaeda. But one of the few times you actually would have seen a soca diss track is ten years ago, around ten years ago. Tao Pri and I Wear George. You see, at that time, people would say, Oh, I Wear George and Masha Montano. And yeah, there was a lot of drama there, but it wasn't in the form of a. I ain't bother with the best. She in trouble because she coming after. I was saying, You want to go green, Ada. But when I done this, I had to go and retire. We saw a man. This track. Um, you would have seen um, who? Saucy and uh, Destra. You would have seen uh, who? Who else? Alison Hines and others. But it was never came in the form of a distract. It was usually, I'm gonna outperform you and let the fans be. But um, let me give you some history of how things used to be. So prior to 10 years ago, it wasn't a lot, it wasn't anything like it is now. Now people make a soca music, Dominica make a bouillon. Oh well shoot, we in Trinidad, we gonna make a bouillon too. Let us get on this rhythm. Or oh, um even Barbados make up bullion with them, nobody really cared. They didn't really feel nothing about it. It's just like, oh, we are soca, we are unity. In fact, they just had the last track, uh, Do What You Want. They did, they did, um, they crossed the three. They put, uh, who, Mr. Killer and Asa and Problem Child all on one track. So there's a lot more unity than there was before. But prior to 10 years ago, even when Ricky T made a Pressure Boom, because the sample of Pressure Boom was the intro to a bouillon song by WCK. <laughs> a lot of people from Dominica, you you can see it to this day, go in the comment section in that video. You can see it, they didn't appreciate that. They say, hey, you taking our Dominica culture. Um, when Mr. Killer made Roly Poly, there was somebody from St. Lucia, I forget his name right now, but Mr. Killer said, I want a fat girl, I want a Roly Poly, the Lucian Z. I want a Meg girl, I want a, uh, what do you call it, a macaroni girl. Yeah. So, 10 years, prior to 10 years ago, people really didn't like the idea of people crossing over their genres. They were more protective of their particular style of soca music in their particular island. Um, but, I Wear George, from 2012 forward, probably 2011, he started making jab jab music, like music from Grenada. So, when I Wear George started to make jab jab music, and he got second place in Soka Monarch. I think this was Soka Monarch 2012, 2013. That's when he made um, Come To Me. Yeah, I feel like I go stops in Soka and go and live in Grenada. Everybody loved it. I mean, he had a lot of Grenadians who didn't like it. You can go in the comment section of those videos. You can see what's going on. And um, he came and he ended up getting second place. I thought he should have won that year, but you know. Like the last video, people just love Marshall Matano. Marshall Matano is the face of 
the Trinidadian element of soca music. There's no way that the soca mafia would have let you win with a jab jab track. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So he had to settle for second place there. Some people say he won, some people say he lost, but that's not what matters. Iwa George continued to make jab jab tracks because he went from um, jab jab, uh, what is it, come to me. And then he went, uh, when the jab music play, you feel no pain. And then shortly thereafter, he made a song in 2014. I would just love to make jab jab tracks even to this day. I don't know if I want to look like that's That's his thing. But 2014, he made a song on a rhythm with Mill Beats. Mill Beats is a producer out of Trinidad. And Mill Beats made this jab jab rhythm. It was literally called the jab jab rhythm. And I would just jump some 20. He's living a jab jab life. He records a video in Grenada and that's his video for the song it goes really big Trinidad loves it and that's it now shortly thereafter after there was a lot of buzz from the Grenadians a lot of people saying hey Trinidad trying to absorb our Jab Jab culture oh the Trinidad is Trinidad going back well Jab Jab didn't start in Grenada and people in Trinidad have been doing Jab Jab too it's not just yours in fact Jab Jab started in there were people I mean I'm not getting into that but they're like oh Jab Jab started in Trinidad you the Grenada just made it popular because you yeah, didn't have nothing else to offer and then you know things would go back and forth back and forth and back and forth but it was after Jab Jab life <laughs> Tall Free After the song Jab Jab Life dropped Tall Free He puts things in place So that he could get on the rhythm also And as soon as the rhythm comes <laughs> First thing out of Tall Free's mouth Oh So I wear and Mill Beats feel like I make a Jab Jab beat And not invite And not invite the king of Jab And it doesn't stop there He goes on and he keeps uh, <laughs> he keeps reminding people throughout the house like, yo, I'm the king of jab. Welcome the king of jab. I want judge. So all you have a jab jab really man, don't invite the king of jab. All you man do. What? You want to get me mud up in here? Welcome the king of jab. Welcome the king of jab. Welcome the king of jab. All you, don't make me get mad. Yo, man. Tell me, tell me, you know that you is the jab jab thing. I say that way, he wants to take over the jab jab thing. I tell you, I've had a story that you know how eating does go. You could take a barrel, you go pay back tomorrow, and put your rag up there, and your flag up there, and your thing up there. Jump, jump. Jump is there. People telling me, tell me what you want the jump, jump, king, king. What if I like I want to take over the jump, jump, king? I tell him, don't worry. He know how eating does go. He could take a barrel, he could pay back tomorrow. There's one specific line in that track. He's like, these have to make them. No, he had to make I will. No, he says, so. I will feel he could go to Soka Monarch and take away the jab jab thing. Well, he could borrow it, but he has to pay back tomorrow. He go take a borrow, he's going to pay back tomorrow. He goes on to say, he's like, yo, if you want a real job artist to come up and match up to that, you need to call the real thing because this is my business. It's not some kind of hobby because, you know, jab music was starting to get, starting to pick up a little bit of a wave at the time. Um, he's like, this isn't some kind of hobby. If you want big money, then you need to study business, but don't just come and try to take the thing. Yo, I'm the real king of jab jab music. No, I will, of course, I will hurt the track. He was on the same rhythm, so you know, I will hurt the rhythm later that year. Well, it would have been for Spice Mask, but that next year coming in February, sure enough, Aubrey is in, uh, he's in Trinidad to help with, um, Trinidad Carnival, and when I will see Tar Pre, you will guess whatever. When he see Tar Pre, you know what happens? Static. Nothing. It's soccer. And we don't really get down like that. But <coughs> that was it. That was. That was the last true diss track. Now, sometimes you might see somewhat of a diss track in Denry music, but typically it's responded to in the form of dancehall. You may see it in other islands, but it's going to be responded to in the form of Trini Bad. Or responded to in the form of just typical um, contemporary dancehall. I could 100% guarantee you had this thing happened today, like this song happened today, <laughs> it would be a lot different thing. I think people would have reacted to it the more drama and you would have actually seen the that that head clash the back to backs that people really want to see it wouldn't be like Justin Soka Monarch people call people out it would be like this track oh get on the next rhythm this track get on the next rhythm this track kind of like what you see in um you kind of seen something like that in Grenada this year but and it was you kind of seen that drama but uh <laughs> but um no like I think that would have been really interesting to see had it happened this year but um 
I don't know. I'm happy that things are a lot more collaborative than they are now. So when you do see something in a quote unquote this track, I think it lifts up all people. It's not just one person bashing, one person, another person bashing, another person. So yeah, that's really nice. But that is the only time I've ever seen a soca this track. Now, it's hard to keep up with everything, and I know like there's other islands that's everywhere, and it's just it's hard to keep up with everybody because they're all within their own circles. So, give me if y'all have it, give me some other options, give me some other things I might have missed because uh, <laughs> I would love to get into this topic. So, um, yeah, let me know. What between Jada's kingdom and Steph's London? All right, so Steph said Jada for ten man for ten grand, which is one thousand dollar per man. Now everybody like fuck because they feel good. But Jada, the only one who I feel good, I make money at the same time. So like a good entrepreneur to me. One point and the twinkle. Jada says Steph is a half breed. And Steph's a liar tell me come from Kingston. Well, Steph, why you never name yourself Steph Kingston or Steph Jamaica? Your name alone sound like a half breed behavior to me. So alright, one more point and the twinkle. Alright.